hello so today i'm streaming love how to do a complete flight from uh vtbd or bangkok don Leung to vtbk which is the compang san rtaf um airport we're not supposed to go there in the commercial aircraft though it's for um the military guys practicing with the c-172p but today we're uh flying in citation next to it anyway we're starting on the runway at 21 or with walkthrough everything from startup to configuring to the FMS to everything. So let's start with starting the engines. I'm using the tutorials. First you need to start up the APU. Let's see how this can be done. So first you hide the uh, co-captain's yoke. Set APU master to on. This one, AP will start to on. There you go. Here it goes. Wait for it ready to load. It's gonna be at uh, around 100 RPM APU. Um, and there we go, ready to load. Now what? Switch the generator. Then, switch on bleed air. Then load the manual startup tutorial to start the engines. It's in both tutorials engine startup. Let's go. So first you hide your yoke. Work rate is on. It's already on. Then start trial to the idle position. You're there. Uh, set external power on. Then switch on battery 1. Then battery 2. Then the left generator. Then the right generator. Switch on avionics, which has a free stop. Two stops. Push the master along switch to stop the alarm. Switch on the left end decision of the engine. Then watch this display. Oh, uh, I need to press the starter. And it's gonna spool up. You can watch it spooling up here. It'll spool up to approximately um, 40. And there you go, it's up. Switch on the right end position. Then the right starter. Wait for the right engine to engine it. Again, it will spool up to the same number, 14.41.4. Push master alarm to stop the alarm. Set external power up. Switch on the ground, recognition and anti collision light. Then switch on the nav lights. Switch on the taxi lights. Set flash to 50 degrees. That's the trim. You read the parking rate and you're ready to roll. Uh, before I roll, I actually need to set the FMS and set the, um, uh, um, those things. Actually, we should set access from the ATC, but I'm getting it from here. It's Q1014. The wind is, um, we know the wind because if no, it's runway 2-1. So we basically need to get the arrow, um, so we need to get a barrel valve. It's ATC services and rage. Uh, for the ATIS for this one, it's 126.40. Uh, so hit F12 to bring up this one. And just the calm radio. It will be uh, 126.4. Then you stop, hit the swap button. You hear something now? It's okay if you don't. We'll s
2991. Or that's what I heard because the 8 is so noisy when we're things properly. Okay, next job. Set up the FMS or Flight Manager computer. So this is our, um, this is where our flight plan. So first we pause and press this button, lower the position, and go to the flight plan screen. Okay, so we're starting at um, VTBD 1121R. Our destination is, we know it, VTBK. Now we can set the VATUs. Departure, we have set that. Arrivals, we're gonna set what way, a runway we're going to. It's runway 21. Not well, flight plan. We'll not add. So, the first, first guy will go to Pig Me. It's a waypoint. Then VA2. Actually, we should go to KPS, but um, it's unavailable, so we go directly to VTBK. We can double verify this in the route manager, which is where we'll actually uh, activate this. We'll try KPS here. If it's attacking, it doesn't work for this one way, but if it's at the NDB, uh, it works. It should be the NDB. I'm not sure why it's gonna be fucking like this. Sorry for the work. So, okay. So the next stop, so the next thing we'll do is we activate our flight plan. Which we have to find a button for that. Load FPL. This one should actually work, but unfortunately in my test round it doesn't, so you need to press activate over here. In the route manager. That's great, your autopilot's ready, but nothing going on the primary flight displays yet. Why? It's because, um, it's because it's set to the nav radio, which is not set to anything. So it means it sets it to FMS. However, because we're going to create a, um, ILS, uh, ILS landing, so we just set this frequency. Okay, so turn on a map, set to data, and find out the ILS frequency for the IKPS. As usual, hit the F12 button. This time he's in nav radios. It will be uh, 109.9 and it's swap. That's it. Just tune your radio to there. So, the last thing you need to do is set the range. The set, I like setting it to a rather magnified range so I can refer to this whenever it's. Um, Whatever it's for. So, one final note. Ah, it does this iOS display to heading 21. Why? Because we need to use this for a. Uh, because we need to remind ourselves that this one is at heading 21. The iOS. Okay, so we're back to the FMS. Here we go. Now let's take off. Let's release the parking brakes. I need to move my mouse and then move my joystick over and rev up the engine. Note that you can't control the trailer when you have reached 80 or so. So you need to control it before it reach 80. Or maybe it's actually 60. Okay, 80. One one, one two. Oh rotate. Okay, rotate. Track your landing gear immediately after doing this. So set an up on the next waypoint to make it go to pick me. Start turning left. You can use a trim to relieve your pressure in the elevator if you like. <coughs> Climb to the decent attitude, you can retract all of the flaps. And keep continuing on your cruise. This means that I'm banking too much. So we're accelerating to cruise speeds here. Actually, won't want to cruise fast. The actual uh, V and E for the V 
his low altitude is like um two five zero knots. You knew it. Okay, so we line up with this thing. Well, we're climbing up to five thousand. Okay. Now what? So the autopilot, you set that to 500. Uh, I'm using the autopilot control pane on here. Reduce the throttle as soon as you're starting leveling off. Then quickly set the nav and set the out and turn on the autopilot. There, it is settled under the autopilot control. You can now release the yoke if you're not near any concern. Now, every, so the only thing you need to adjust here is the throttle, because the autopilot is managing the rest of the things for you. So let's make sure we're under, well under two five zero. Which the autopilot run lining up the aircraft. What do we actually do is we try to like we try to okay. I think I need to explain this. You see that arrow on the speed ticker tape? It, it illustrates which way you're going in terms of speed. So now we're decelerating because the arrow is going down. If we're not doing anything like this, it's gonna keep going down. So we rev the engine a bit. So keep doing it only a bit until the arrow changes to a stop and the speed ticker tape stops. There, you just make them out of the speed hold without using any auto throttle. If it goes off, you go the throttle down a bit. Actually, you can use a yoke for that, like we uh, I mean, sometimes do on takeoffs. I try to hold speed, but um, the, uh, the speed is currently uncontrolled by the altitude, so I can't do that. I need to do it using the throttle. Now keep watching the. Uh, now that's not. There's not a lot of things to watch except the uh, the how much miles is left to pay me. Put this two five point one two point zero over here. It's like nanometer. It's like nanometers. No, it's not equal miles. There's nothing left for you except the chest and the front. Keep your hand. Keep your hand at the achy button though, especially when you're uh, relatively close to pygmy because at some point you may need to. And something in preparation for running. The cruise is like this, it's mm, very simple. But keep watching the miles indicator though. You can play with the aircraft system from here since it's really featureless. I don't know what tower is that. It's a flyby view. And this Citation X actually has passenger view. If you're looking for it, we can close the cockpit door, separation doors, open the bar doors. And doing lots of things around here. You can look out of the windows with this pale little business. I haven't turned on the advanced variable here, so it looks kind of like strange, so, but it's no big deal, actually. Let's go back to the cockpit. But that's wonky. Okay, so we're back.
back in the cockpit, which around um, uh, 16.4321 miles left to take me. We'll be there in about um, 7 minutes. This is related to a long time, by the way. Oh, okay, it's 6 minutes. cockpit is very advanced. You see the yoke, you see the straw levers, for example. If it has a separation of doors, which I believe if it's the only one that has it. How many men does this have? Uh, so six? Uh, maybe. But we're um, almost ten miles to Pygmy. Once Pygmy plays with this theme, you can prepare for the next section of flight. Probably commanding the sense and something like that. The nav radio is for our ILS. And if you don't know about this, this, this is the angle of attack indicator. It's your annual, annual call of attack. Currently, it's around dot 3 degrees. But it's really slow now, by the way. Actually, it's just getting flying. And we're flying through clouds now. Okay, Pygmy has just repaired on screen and it's time for us to start descending a bit. So we the ace, so gradually go down a bit and stay gradually forward, I think. And when Pygmy came into the circle, uh, be careful to go to the next bit when it's 3TBK. And actually we may need to do even a manual to line up with the line and adjust to the LS. IOS, sorry. Next waypoint, we're going to the VTBK. Surely we may be going to the previous waypoint for a while. Start intersecting with the iOS and turn off the autopilot. Actually, we'll start, actually, even start slowing down right now. But watch your speed and make sure you don't slam to the ground or something like that. Okay, it's time. So we we'll switch it off the all colors right now. To line up with the line and turn on the nav radios. Now we're at AKPS. With the heading indicator slowly reminding us where to go. Set on a trip. Okay, here we are. Once we're at uh, IKPS. Sorry, I mean wherever the KPS and DB, which is actually the LOM. Or start getting the localizer. Currently, we only have the glide slope stuff. Okay, and there's the glide slope. So let's come on to the sub exempt and let's do that. We didn't descend fast like this. And starting to come back towards us. Let's turn back to our heading. Uh, so at, I set it to 21 to remind us, hopefully, remind us of our the runway headings. 
that's key descending of it. Maybe a bit more. Yeah, because we need to catch the glide slope here. Could we see the... Oh, sorry. Could we see it in the fog? I don't think so. And it's time to turn back to our heading. With no issues of a... The issues of grabbing the long glider. Banking though. Okay, we're banking too much. Okay, and... Now we see a visible trajectory. And there's the airport. The iOS is uh, really misleading over here. I think I'm only a bit off, uh, but five miles is a bit uh, close in terms of the iOS approaches. Push the aircraft down a bit. It's, I think it's time to turn on the flaps. And the speed breaks so or crapper keeps slowing down with that. Okay, we're at some marker. I think it's the uh, middle marker. Okay, we're over IK or over KPS, which is the outer marker, which is actually where we can start um following the, the iOS. I think we should get the gear down now. Okay, one thousand the gear is down. And we're going out on the light slope. I need to make a lot of S curves here. And push it down a bit. Okay. And we need to get the speed brakes off. Because we're a bit too low now. Well, this is actually isn't a good one. so we should do this. Okay, delete and turn off the speed brakes. Okay, we're here. I'll bet it and safely. We slalom in a bit. We've land a bit outside the runways, but we're here. Which is nice. Okay, so shut off. Set the parking brake. Uh, and mute alarm. So what next is we shut down the engine, I think. Actually, there's, there's no engine engine cutoff over here, so we need to shut it off at any decision. And you see the engine is pulling down. Once the engine is pulled down, all these navigation displays will go off with itself. Or pressure low, that's normal, that's normal. Stay assured, that's normal. Or pressure all low, that's normal. So next we have switch this off, then turn off the avionics. Turn off these things. That. Uh, generators. <sighs> yeah. We shut off. We shut it off. Great. And they actually need to shut off the APU. This is to say we have to win anyway. I don't know how to actually shut off the plane, but I think it's something like this anyway. Okay, welcome to BTBK or Kampang San, which is kind of, uh, which is actually close to Suhanburi, which is my home country and where I filmed this video. If you're particularly interested in these grasses, you may need to wrap the flight gear forum. It has because this one's telling you how to open all these grasses I've got in on my screenshots over here. Let's get into the replay. I really want to see the latest shots. Here you go. Really crazy flying. So if 
stopping the Atlanta actually outside the runway a bit and glided down to the runway. That's really interesting. Let's see the top view. Uh, the top view is the helicopter view. And let's uh, zoom out a bit so we get a wider view and go up. So this is the top view. Actually, tell me, don't sink, but I don't hear that. We glide down into the runway, then go outside, land outside, then go in again when it's possible. Really funny. Really funny indeed. <laughs> we go outside the runway and in again. Funny. <laughs> okay, so this is the end of the stream. Hopefully you know how to do this in real life. Or here. So, here we go. And thank you.